Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and in this video I'm going to talk about, um, well, as part of my end of film series, I want to talk about the regions of the world, um, like third world countries, you know, they still like to watch big movies too, and even with the lower cost DCI equipment coming to market, um, that's still way out of reach for a lot of those regions, and they've been, you know, using uh, older projectors and, you know, films which have, you know, basically third run or whatever you want, I'm not sure what the, the name of it is, but they've been getting the, the films at the end of the runs, etc. But without film, what can they do? Well, um, I've, as you know, I've been doing this, this uh, my Cine Tech Geek videos for quite a long time because we identified this um, development quite a long time ago and we developed a product to hopefully help those parts of the world. This is a bit self-promotional, but it's one of the reasons why I made these videos. Uh, uh, and you know some of my aspects of trying to help them, the market or the world, you know, the world market of cinema forward into the digital era is we have a an e-cinema system, Going which is uh, very similar to how DCI works, cool but it uses uh, basically it works on top of domestic type equipment. So, for example, you could get a player projector. Uh, set up going for as little as uh, five to six thousand uh, dollars if you use you know certain you know equipment of that quality but you can also increase the quality spend a bit more money on it etc and this uses a similar encryption system to DCI but it doesn't have all the uh, the you know it, it's very similar to DCI has very similar cap you know level of encryption quality to DCI but it doesn't have the cost associated with it because it doesn't have the, the so much effort that's gone into the development of it um, so we are actually developed that product to help certain regions who can't afford DCI to actually still go out there and have a viable um, cinema market with content protection uh, that they can afford in those regions and with the end of film um, it's products like this and it's one of the opportunities we saw coming forward that this sort of product would have when this when this time came so um, we're not the only one doing this technology but I, you know we've been developing this for a long time it's used in quite a lot of parts of the world it's well, well respected so please do have a look at ours if you're going to look at this technology and I appreciate it it's because it's um, what keeps me uh, in a job and what allows me to spend my spare time making these videos to help people in the cinema industry going forward in the conversion of digital. So um, do follow the videos on that on my website which I'll put down the bottom here and it has some videos covering how the, the our e-cinema technology is very similar, same capabilities, you can automate it, it's got automation, you can schedule off your ticketing system, all those sort of aspects that you, you well, you ex grow to expect in the bigger systems or on these systems. Even the user interfaces are generally actually much more easy to use because it's been focused on a more simplistic type uh, operator environment. Uh, so keep an eye on that. So hopefully that technology will bring those parts of the world over to digital as well and we'll all be a uh, very happy digital uh, world indeed. Uh, it's, it's sad to see film go, go but you know there's some things that we just can't avoid so yes good luck with your transitions and even if you're in the poorest part of the world you still have options I'd just like to make you know that so good luck with that and uh, if I find out that's pretty much all of my videos on the end of film if I can think of anything else I might release some more but good luck with your transition uh, and um, I hope uh, everything goes smoothly and you don't need to stress out about it if you're in a, in a p bit of a pickle at the moment. I'm sure there's some options for you out there. Anyway, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and good luck with your transition to the digital era. Bye for now.